Bruce, most statistics show that a larger percentage of scientists compared to the general public do not believe in God. Why do you think that's so? Uh, I think it's a matter of definition. I'm not trying to weasel out of it. Uh, what does God mean? And to some groups of people in the world, it means a rather human-like figure who takes a personal interest in the destiny of humans, sometimes intervenes. Um, some in extreme cases, wants human sacrifices and all the rest. Uh, I think most scientists find that as too simplistic a view of reality. Plus, we've seen how societies from primitive situ situations grew into more sophisticated ones, and they dropped those kinds of attitudes and began to try to develop ideas that dealt better with the realities we find now. So I, I think that that's what influences scientific thinking. I don't think scientists are any less prejudiced about the world they live in. I don't think they have more noble values than the rest of us. I don't think they're special. They're part of a very interesting group of people. I think artists are important, and poets, and musicians, and businessmen. What about philosophers and theologians? Especially. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the diversity of what makes us what we are. We're human. We're all these things. And um, it makes it difficult, difficult to characterize and easy to pick a fight with some part or another. But it's all us. That's what we are. It's also said that in the larger group of scientists, if you start disaggregating them, you find biological scientists more not believing in God and physical scientists, particularly physicists, cosmologists, astronomers, having a slightly more willingness to accept some sort of a higher reality. Uh, that there's this differentiation between biologists and physicists. Is, do you find that to be true, or is there any No, I've not there? had that experience personally, but of course Caltech is a small place and probably <laughs> not a good sample. Uh, in general, there are obviously both kinds of people that make up science and others. I think the very few scientists have the kind of belief in God that you might have been taught in school. That is difficult to reconcile with science. On the other hand, many scientists are troubled by the fact that they can't understand a lot of things. Why do obviously good people die and bad people get power? You know, it's, it's easy to persuade yourself that God is not actively managing this place. <laughs> or he's not the kind of God we'd like him to be, or her. But we really can't get our arms around the broader issues. And so scientists, despite their expert knowledge on the material world, have no special insight that I'm aware of into what you might call the spiritual world. That is, is still a mystery, and, and particularly the big questions, why this? Why does things that are to us seemingly evil flourish and good things not? Those questions you know, go back to Job. They're old, <laughs> they're not new, but we don't have any better answers for them. So Job or, or, our, or our best scientists, you put them at the same level? On that question, yes. 